As the world evolves, uh, our business keeps evolving too. And where that is taking us is to different places. We had the opportunity to work with customers who were also developing product, kind of grew with their companies. We were good at helping them develop what they wanted, and at the same time, that made us better at what we were doing. And the real fun part of that was is redesigning what they had to make a better part that worked better and it was easier to make. While we were growing up and working together, we never really had a conflict, a major conflict with the three of us. When you're working on the edge of a roof and your brother's hanging onto your tool belt so you can hang over the edge, <laughs> you learn to trust everyone. Yeah. You know, and it worked. My parents started in a small, out of the garage kind of sheet metal shop doing residential sheet metal work in South Minneapolis. And uh, we, uh, we lived two blocks from the shop and we grew up in after school working there and that was the plan, my dad's plans. They started the business in 1945. Well, back then it was residential sheet metal work, gutters, downspouts, roof flashings for the roofing industry, that kind of thing. You know, my dad was the old German heritage that uh, he, he told us what we needed to do, but and expected us to do it, but he let us do it our way if we had to. We grew up with a lot of confidence because we knew we could do a lot of things. Any one of us could take on a job and have a problem. There was never any blame in any of that. It was just the three of us solved it, trying to do what was right for the business. So that was a great feeling to have that you had that backup. In 1990, we moved here and added on about 22,000 square feet to begin with, and we've added on another 40,000 over the course of some years here. We have, we've looked at trying to expand and to a different geographical part of the country. You know, we've opened up a plant in Arizona. We have a number of customers in that corner of the U.S. The business was growing to a point we realized we couldn't manage it. For a short time, we thought, well, we need to learn a little more how to manage a business. And then it became apparent, well, no, that isn't the right way to use our time. We need to hire somebody that can manage it for us. So we hired an outside manager. You know, they've, they've been doing things uh, very well for a lot of years. It's not automatic that you're in business for 72 plus years. So um, they uh, set the stage uh, for us a long time ago, and we're just building on that year in and year out here. So uh, we've got a pretty good model that we're following. We've had attempts to having a proprietary product and unfortunately each attempt kind of showed us that we weren't marketers. We built the Memphis Girl. We brought those out onto the marketplace. And we just kind of hit a, a home run with that one. Um, we've got some, again, talented engineers here that kind of helped separate us from the competition. And we developed that from on paper to what we consider to be the best in market today in a wood-burning pellet stove. Now when we got to the Memphis Grill, you know, we, we didn't have the expertise, so we had to hire marketing people and getting, get outside help to do that. And we've been fairly successful at doing that. It wasn't talked about much, but one day he came and said, I'm going to sell you guys the business. We always thought about the company was what we were there for. Not for one of us. We weren't fighting each other over anything, so it, was, it worked out pretty good. Well, the ownership is the next generation moving up. So we, all of our kids own some stock. I think we're challenged with the next generation of owners and managers understanding that the business has to reinvent itself every so often. You know, it's not, it's not what it used to be, it's what it's going to be that we have to live for. What's coming? What's the next opportunity? What's the next evolution in all this? And if they're not looking for that, they're going to get left behind. Because we've seen it move so fast over the last 25 years. You know, we're a continuous learning organization. That's, that's what's important to the family. That's one of their, their values that uh, they brought to the organization, and that's one they want perpetuated into the future. And I, I think that serves us well. We're not afraid to embrace challenges. What we're going to be doing five years from now depends on who, walks, who looks at our website tomorrow <laughs> or, or a year from now. And it, it's always changing.
You know, we're, we face new and, and dynamic challenges every day, and, and we've got an organization, a group, uh, a leadership group, employees, a family that supports us, that um, there's no stopping us. We always like to say, uh, you know, our best years are in front of us yet, and we've had a pretty good past.